All right, so the lesson for today is uh, changing viewports and uh, viewport shading in Blender. I'm using the uh, Blender 3.0 Alpha here, so it should be the same with uh, 293 and 28. All right, so what we need to focus on is uh, these four spheres right here. Okay, so if I kind of zoom in. All right, so each one that you click here uh, represents a uh, different shading in your viewport so let's go with the default one which is uh, the uh, shading solid mode all right so uh, when you start blender you see a cube and this is exactly what you see uh, color wise all right and the thing is each time you change a different tab um, they change to a particular one or they revert back to uh, what is solid right here okay so what's happening is that um, it's uh, sometimes you you know if you're just uh, starting with blender uh, you're wondering what happened to your color right because if you switch tab and uh, they do have their own kind of setup like if you go to shading they're in preview mode so let's go to the very beginning here i'm in layout so that we can show this okay so the first sphere is your wireframe mode okay this is so that you can see everything in wireframe all right there we go you can see the internal quite important to, to see the internals of your model real quick and to also kind of study how your topology is all right so the first one is your wireframe mode okay so if I turn this x-ray off, you know, we'll not see the inside. So the wireframe only works on the outside. All right. So keep that in mind. If you want to see through it, click on x-ray mode. All right. Next is your solid shading. Okay. So if I click this, everything turns solid. Did you lose your color? Okay. This is probably why when you switch to another tab right here, you get a different um, um, shading and it looks like you lost your color. You did not lose your color. You just represented as solid. Okay. You can also turn on x-ray mode on top of that. And it's really like an x-ray mode now since it's solid. Okay. So let me turn that off. Okay. So this is solid. All right. Next. Is your preview so this is the third sphere so preview shows you all your textures and color shading uh, reflection at some capacity because everything here it's on uh, HDRI so this is not what your final render will look like this is just so that you could see at all angles your color and uh, your uh, your texture without having to worry about your lights uh, affecting them okay so let's say you just want to see how it looks like if it's just color okay or texture all right and then the fourth one right here okay this is uh, depending on the engine I'm using EV right now okay uh, this is basically what you see is what you get all right um, other than the the noise and whatnot so basically uh, look at this as, as if this is your final output uh, preview okay so I'll actually do a rendered image here real quick just to kind of show you that uh, it's pretty close all right and if I go to cycles all right so as you can see if I go to preview mode here okay and then if I go to final output okay or render uh, viewport there's a huge difference in EV kind of look the same okay all right so again wireframe for the first one and of course you can combo this with the uh, x-ray mode okay solid preview mode okay and then finally rendered mode or your final output all right so that's what those kind of represents there's another button that we can show here which is show overlay so you can see my screen it has lights and all that but you don't see those light uh, icons and whatnot that's because i have my overlay 
turned off. So if I click this on, you will see all the the grid axis. You see the light icon. You see the camera icon. Let me turn that on back. back. There it is. There's the camera icon right there. All right. So when you're kind of just previewing your render and you don't want the clutter in the space, um, turn off your overlay right here. Simply click that, and those uh, are hidden. Okay. But don't forget to turn it on because when you start working and you're wondering, you know, what happened to it, and then that means the overlays turn off. Okay. So, but I'm gonna leave that off for now. Go back to layout. Okay. So this is what it is. So when you switch, so let's say you want to do modeling, it reverts to the default one, which is solid. All right, so this is where you probably will freak out. Hey, what happened to my color? Again, going back to the spheres right here or the uh, sh viewport shading options. If you go to the third one, you see your color in preview mode. You go to the fourth one, you see your, uh, your final rendered output. Okay, well, close to it. So sculpting does that again. UV editing, it'll do it. So you don't have to keep pressing those. You go back to modeling, it will remember because whatever that setting is. But the first time you click any of this, it will switch to the default one. So if I go here in the animation tab, I turn on rendered right here and over here, I just want to see preview. Okay, when I switch back, it should remember it, okay? So, all right, so let's say in sculpting, we go preview mode, go back to layout, go back to modeling. All right, so that's what those uh, four previews are. And of course, each one would have their own kind of setting. So if you go here with the uh, material mode, all right, uh, you can uh, preview, sorry. You can then go to its option down there with a the down arrow and then you can change your kind of preview mode here okay kind of like your hdri you want to kind of look at it uh, based on this kind of photo these are like um, uh, panoramic uh, wraparound um, uh, photos hdri photos okay stitched together so all right, so by default, it's the studio, I think. But you want to see the night preview, kind of lighting. All right, so you get to, but this is not your output, right? This is not your render. So you can see here, if I render, it's still going to be the uh, render from the other light, which is that one right there, the original lighting. Okay, which, hmm. Uh, Looks like uh, I've hit some bugs with uh, 3.0 already. Or, yep, it didn't quite like the, uh, let me put this back to the old preview there. So even though here, this should not be, there we go. It took a while for it to kind of refresh it. Now it's back to, back to normal. Okay. Maybe Bloom is a little too much on this one. Oh, but it has that haze. All right, let's go back to layout right here. Okay, and that's it.